and we're approaching the Lake Padre. Quite an imposing building. And this is the River Urn, and it's a fast flowing river and it's five meters deep. So, obviously, not to be trifled with. And there's a notice board. Brilliant. And we are going in for a cup of tea and for the tour. So here's all the uh, background information to Balik Padre. Established 1857. So much in Northern Ireland or Ulster was in and around the 50, 1850s. Uh, a lot of architecture, a lot of buildings in Belfast would date from that era. Known across the world, raw materials required were first discovered in the 19th century by John Caldwell Bloomfield, the former owner of Castle Cald Cald of John Caldwell, former owner of Castle Caldwell Estate. The oh, circumstances of the discovery of the deposits vary. So it was the particular deposits that uh, brought about the start of the pottery. Raw materials necessary for the potter for the pottery include feldspar and kaolinite, both of which are found locally. And I'll let you read that for yourselves. I'm trying to stop the glare there. And there you go. This feldspar was and uh, kilonite was mined locally. I just walked in the front door and I'm allowed to take videos. Video footage. And this is the International Centerpiece, modelled by Frederick Slater, one of the potter's finest craftsmen. The centerpiece was awarded a gold medal at the Paris Exhibition of 1900. One of the four medals Balik has won over the years. Fabulous. And this is an absolute superb place to come to. And here's where we are. Mirrors in a skillin, and we have driven up the A46 past Loch Navarre, and we've arrived at Balik. Robert William Armstrong, founder, along with John Caldwell Bloomfield. And this is the man. So. And this is all the information about him. And here's various awards that Billy has gained.